Should you build your user interface using Storyboard or do it all programmatically? It's an age-old question. I get asked this all the time. It gets asked in every live stream without fail. Well, today I'm gonna answer that question and we're gonna settle this debate once and for all forever. No, I can't even get it out. We're never gonna stop arguing about this. It's never going to end. But today, hopefully I can give you some insights and give you my opinion to maybe clear up this question for you. Let's go. We are gonna dive into the pros and cons of Storyboard and, and programmatically. Uh, we're also gonna talk about the toxicity that's around this question that I really don't like. But if you want the spoiler alert, too long, didn't read answer, uh, the answer is both. And the reason being is that uh, inevitably throughout your career, you're gonna go from team to team or project to project, especially if you're freelancing. And no two projects or two teams are going to be the same. Everybody's going to do things differently. So if you go to a team that does use Storyboard and you're a 100% code guy, like, what are you gonna do? You're just gonna say like, nope, I'm writing everything in code. I hate storyboards, you guys are stupid. Like, no, you're not gonna do that. Or, or as a contractor, like I, I contracted uh, for the past year and a half up until recently, and I was on probably eight or nine projects and everyone was different. You're gonna bounce from project to project. And sure, there are gonna be some that you, you build from scratch and you're gonna get to do it your way. However, a lot of the times you're gonna be jumping into an existing code base. You're gonna maybe build a certain feature or, or do some bug fixing or, or some other stuff. But the point is, it's all gonna be different. So having that versatility of knowing how to do things well in code and how to do things well using Storyboard is going to benefit you in your career in the long run. You're gonna be able to jump into any code base and just dive right in and start contributing right away. Now let's take a step back and talk about the toxicity around this question that like I really don't like. And I just don't like that elitist attitude of, I, I do it in code and storyboards are stupid. If you use storyboards, you're not a real developer. Or if you use storyboards, you're lazy or, or you're a noob. I've heard all these, I've seen it in the comments. It's, it's just ridiculous. Like it is perfectly fine to say, I like to do my UI programmatically and I think it is a much better option. Cool. No need to just blanketly bash all other developers that don't do it your way. Like that's just, that looks bad on you in my opinion. Anytime someone comes at this with like that type of argument, I'm like, okay, you're that type of person and I just move on. But I do see where that stereotype and that connotation comes from. And that's because most people just learning iOS development is they start off using storyboards and yeah, they are noobs and that's not a knock on them. It's just, you're, you're brand new, you're just starting. So I see where they, that attitude comes from. I just, I don't agree with it. Um, but but I actually think storyboards are a great way to introduce new people into development because the reality is learning how to code and learning how to build apps, it, it's hard. So I think if you just throw learning everything about building apps and then you throw the programmatic UI on top of it, that just might be a hurdle like too high for some people and people will quit. So I look at storyboards as easing new people in, like all the, the UI stuff that kind of gets you know, it's magic with storyboards, right? You don't fully understand what's going on. You just drag and drop the button. There it is, right? It's, it's magic. Um, so I, I do agree that if you learn how to do your code programmatically, you are going to learn more and you're gonna be more knowledgeable. But again, I just think throwing that on people all up front when they're just learning can be too much for some people and then they quit. So again, I like storyboards for easing people in. After they've learned the basics, if they wanna do their UI programmatically now, now they can learn that, but they're already in. They've learned the basics, they're good to go. So if you are just beginning, you are just starting and you are watching this video, uh, take what I just said as advice. If you are all in, nothing is going to stop you, then learning programmatically will benefit you more in the long run. You're going to learn more. You're, you're going to know how the UI works. Uh, however, if you're just trying out code, you're not sure if you're gonna like it, by all means, please use storyboards. Like worry about that stuff later, learn the basics and, and you'll be on your way. Now let's talk about my point of view and what I think about this topic. Now, if you saw my recent video about skeletal storyboards, uh, you're gonna know that I kind of use a, a hybrid approach, but I look at this you know, storyboard versus code a, as a spectrum. The more complex and dynamic a screen is, uh, I tend to lean towards doing it programmatically. For example, here's an app I worked on called MathStar, and it is a bunch of like math problems for elementary school kids. And you'll see a couple examples of the screens here. Basically, there was over 200 different question variants, if you will. Now, I'm not gonna sit there and build 200 screens in Storyboard for the different UI. Like, that was just ridiculous. So this is a perfect example of where doing something in code was clearly the better choice. However, the other end of that spectrum, which most screens probably are, is they're pretty static, pretty simple, maybe it's just a basic table view. I prefer to do those in Storyboard. And the reason being is I don't like a lot of clutter in my code, because I want, I'm big on readability. I want somebody to be able to look at my code read it and know exactly what's going on. So I don't like clutter in my code. Again, this is all personal preference. Take, you can disagree with me, that's fine. Uh, but 
I like doing the basic simple UI in Storyboard because that's not cluttering on my code. All that auto layout code, all the UI initialization, that's not in code, that's just all on Storyboard. So again, that's the spectrum. Super complex dynamic, I lean towards code. And then, you know, super simple, I do it in Storyboard. And then most of the time I land on that skeletal uh, Storyboard approach that you see uh, in this video. So again, my take on the classic Storyboard versus code question is you need to do both. Versatility as a programmer is going to do nothing but benefit you. You just can't be locked into one way of doing it. It's probably not gonna work out for you. Uh, but again, I wanna see your thoughts in the comments. Now, uh, I think it's wishful thinking to think this is going to be a civil discussion, but I'm hoping viewers watching this can hear my opinion and then read some thoughtful, insightful comments on why certain developers prefer code and their, their logical reasoning and constructive criticism of the other side and why you like to do storyboard and here's why I like to do this. Uh, I hope this is a very informative comment section, that's my hope, fingers crossed, uh, on this topic. So anyway, if you like what I'm doing here on my channel, I put out new videos about iOS development all the time. I do Swift news every Monday, so consider subscribing. See you next time.